Hey everybody, it is Father Christian from your favorite Christian YouTube channel, the place where we're taking on a ton of topics, but always through the lens of faith. And have you ever wondered what exactly does a priest do on a, any given Sunday and why do they do what they do? Yeah, me too. So this week is a day in the life of a priest. Now, if you remember, my very first episode that I ever did here, which wasn't that long ago, was a day in the life of a priest, but it included a wedding on a Saturday, and then it tapped into a service the next morning. This week is all about a day in the life of a priest, but just on a Sunday where we got multiple services happening, and also a guest preacher, Dr. Chris Hall. So if you remember last week, it was all about Dr. Chris Hall, my interview with him about why does God allow evil to happen in this world, and where is God in the midst of evil, right? Heavy stuff, check it out. It was last week, he was awesome. This week, I want to. I have the camera out because we had a guest preacher. I had more time. I'm interviewing people who uh, are part of the services who make it come alive and try to give you a little bit of why do we do what we do? Why do I wear what I wear during the church service? So all that is coming up right here on your favorite Christian. Stay tuned. Yo, good morning. Welcome to another uh, vlog here on uh, your favorite Christian. So I'm off to the uh, 9 a.m. service where. Chris Hall, Dr. Chris Hall will be preaching. Do you know how cool it is to wake up uh, once in a while and know that you're not preaching? I mean, the joy and the gift of being at St. Mary's is that we are preaching at least three, four times a week. And then on the, you're preaching every Sunday, no matter what. It's great and it's awesome and it's such a gift. It's such a holy, holy privilege to be able to have people's attention hopefully for that amount of time but on this Sunday we don't have to preach we're getting ready for the service it's just early in the morning you get good people like Kyle who here as an acolyte just an awesome dude he helps out with acolyting with reading with lecturing prayers to the people it's good to have you man this is Miss Barbara Hello. see she's a head of the altar guild she is the one who is going to be responsible for all the to make our altar look good and great. Yeah. Of course, none of these services are possible if it's not for this team up here. You get Rose up here. You get Michael up here. Uh, sometimes we have Tom. I mean, this this is how it. This is such a huge piece, and I am so grateful for this guy right here because he saves her butt so many times, and his mother. For also she gets up here and she's learned a thing or two as well. It's like it's in their DNA. The Schneiders are so important. But everything from our live stream that goes on Facebook through BoxCast through the whole media shout, this is an important team right here. So this is Abby Wilcox. Hi. Abby, what are you, what, so what are you doing here at, at, the, at the service? Uh, painting based on the gospel. Yeah. Some people might call it uh, prophetic painting. So while the gospel, while the service is going, you're, what, you're over here creating... Uh, Multiple different pieces, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so what was last week's? Uh, that was about the fox and the hen. So she looks over the gospel, she me meditates on it, and she prays profusely over the text, and then she allows it to be expressed on the canvas right here. How excited are you for Chris Hall to be preaching? Oh, it's such a gift to us, and they I love oh, Chris, yeah. that he is going to come and share the word and spirit, he and Brian. Amen. I'm thrilled. I wanted to come over and say something to him, but he was, he was deep in prayer, just getting ready for this for his sermon. Good so I walked morning, over and I saw you and you were like, the eyes closed, and I was like, I do not want to get and mess around with that. So I tell you, you know hey, what time man. it is? It's time, it for, is. it's time for us to pray. Is it time to pray? It's time to pray before Let's we get this. rock and roll. All Let's right. do this, so we need God's help. Pain. So we sit here and we pray before we get rolling to invite the Holy Spirit into this. This is the day the Lord has made. Self that 
week in and week out we carry with us. All that gets stripped away in the desert. And generally speaking, that's a good thing. So we will try a, uh, something new and different here, which is a, um, they call it uh, right three of the Eucharist. Want the book? Yeah. yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> Unless we find the book. Um, the right three Eucharist, this is a time for education, is where the uh, celebrant will walk you through in, uh, in his or her own words. Um, and you have been saved from that moment that we had to do it on the fly because our wonderful rector just saw the book. So God bless you, rector. On the night that he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread and when he had given thanks, he gave it to his disciples and he said, take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. This is Scott Fetner, who every time, now we're getting ready for the 11 o'clock service, he gives me magazines. Oh, hello there. Yes, and he gives me- Oh, is that me? That's good looking you. guy? That good looking guy is right there. That's oh my you. God. So now I come over here, you see, and then we get our acolyte robes on. See, now Father Todd looks how different he looks. We put on our, our white uh, robes that symbolize the purity. The red over here, uh, well, I'm assuming it's the Christ's blood. It's the, it's the Christ's blood. The light of Christ, the torch of Christ, is going to lead us and have a crucifer. Be carrying the cross. The cross always leads the way. But well, I'm about to go get put on my duds and get ready. Where Chris will preach again. You call us to be. You raise up leaders and teachers to help us to be able to see the make of heaven and earth, the all that is seen and unseen. All stories. Themselves come from his memories. Look over my life, I need even need your touch to put things right. What? you enjoyed that and got a little bit of insight of what exactly does a priest do on a Sunday. There's so much more that happens, obviously, especially during the weekdays, but that will be future episodes. Uh, but in the meantime, if you're enjoying what you're getting uh, here at Your Favorite Christian, I would be so grateful for you to like and subscribe this video or subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share it with your friends for people who might be interested in this wacky priest who brings you into his own life, who talks about topics such as art and pop culture and relationships and dating and also the church. So I'm grateful that you're here. Leave a comment about what other topics you want talked about. And I look forward to seeing you next Monday because that's when we release every single video. All right, peace.